Hello friends, welcome back to my channel about Flutter. In today's video, I will show you how I, ad I added syntax highlighting feature for my Flutter cookbook app. I use this uh, Flutter cookbook app to show the functioning and the code recipe of my different uh, explorations of the widgets I do with Flutter. So here is my list of the uh, recipes that I have been working on. So in here, I added these two buttons. This one, the first button is to show the live demonstration for the uh, recipe and this little icon here for to show the uh, related code recipe. So if you click on here, it will take you to the code uh, recipe in action. And if you click on here, it will take you to the underlying code for this code recipe. And you can scroll up and down in the whole you can scroll horizontal and there's a menu. You can zoom in, uh, uh, sorry, zoom out to make it uh, look bigger and then zoom in to see more uh, text in the one page or in the one scroll. Another thing I added is here is the link to the GitHub repo. So it will take you to the uh, GitHub repo for that particular file like this so you can see it right here if you choose to or you can see it go from to the demo from here like this or here also I did the navigation if you want to jump to the code from right here you can click this button to go back to uh, the code snippet so let's see how I did it again a, I have the blog post here uh, which takes you to the step by step how I did it so as usual, I go over my blog post first and then we'll see uh, the code in action in Under Studio. So the first thing first, I use the Syntax Highlighter plugin, which is right here in your PubDAV to achieve this. So if, uh, I, did, I used two uh, new plugins for this. One is the Syntax Highlighter that will highlight the content uh, of the file uh, for the particular syntax. Uh, and second is animated floating action button. So that's for this menu to make it animated. So this is a library too. All right, so now uh, I use the first thing, uh, there's a one file, code file, that will, uh, the code file widget, uh, I, I use this as a stateful widget to, because the uh, you, there is a different things that will be changed. Uh, first thing is like the, as we saw, zoom in and zoom out functionality. So we have to reflect that in our widget. So that's the reason I use uh, the stateful widget for this case. So when I, this is my reusable file across uh, my all recipes. So that's why I uh, pass these four component. My recipe name, in that case, it was the loading PDF right here. Page name, that's the routing. So this is the way I do routing for my uh, for this Flutter cookbook app. Uh, you can use a different way if you choose to, but for my navigation purposes, I use this way. And a code file path is the path which is internal in my code repo. And the code GitHub path is the external path for this file. So this is the code where my code is written. So now, as you see, let's see, uh, is a regular stateful widget. And right here, it consists, my state widget is uh, consisted of three main methods. First thing is the build, that builds that screen. So if you go here, this screen is built in the build method. Next is the code preview action. This is where I build these actions. And the highlighting uh, highlighted code syntax, that's what you see here, is being built in this third method. Now in the build screen, as you see, uh, so let's see the code right here. I'll move it down to here. So first thing is the app bar. So app bar has the icon button as arrow back, so which takes you to the back, one screen back. And the recipe name is right here, loading uh, PDF. And if you see the action has opens the my external GitHub path from right here. Now I'm using future builder to load the content of my file, the code file right here. So why future builder? Because I want my content to be loaded asynchronously. And as my data arrives, 
I uses highlighting code syntax method that, that I will go over in a bit to show the data and to run the syntax analyzer uh, from the R plugin. And another thing it uses the floating action button right here to uh, show the preview actions. So now let's see how the actions are added. So zoom out is right here. So zoom out actually decreases the uh, widget uh, every 0 0.1 time. So it makes the text bigger and zoom in make it smaller. And now you see uh, the open page, it's right here. I think I did here, I wrote in the wrong one, looks like, so it's decreasing, zoom in, and it increasing, zoom out. So it's adding, it's making it bigger. So this is zoom in, and this is zoom out, or maybe I have put the wrong name here. I'll fix it later. Um, and now comes the syntax highlighting. So, of course, and here this icon is to go back to the navigation button again. And now highlighting syntax is the main method of this code recipe. In here, uh, you have, uh, so I have here container. So first thing is, I'm using syntax highlighter style to provide the theme. So based on the web, on my platform, if I have a dark theme, it will pick the dark theme style, otherwise light theme style. And then this hole is a container and I'm using a scroll bar child inside so that I can scroll. You see the bar right there? This bar is the scroll bar. And now I want to add the single child scroll view to scroll up and down and the another one with the axis horizontal to go left and right to scroll horizontally. And, and in, I use the rich text to reflect the uh, text uh, scale factor for the text to show like how you are doing. So this is happening just because it's a stateful widget otherwise it wouldn't have happened. And now the monospace because we use monospace font to show the code so we use monospace font family and the last but the most important uh, widget here is, is the dart syntax highlighter class which takes the style based on the what theme you have here and it's format the code content in here the file content in it it highlights the syntax like this so now i'll show you how this uh, uh, the syntax highlighter class look like so it's right here uh, in here and as you see the syntax let's go back to the dart syntax highlighter if you go in this is the highlighting class and based on the theme it has the all the keywords right here so this is how this is a plugin code it has all the keywords for the dart and the built-in type and as you see it's using the uh, list list for the spans and based on like what kind of keyword it's meeting it changes the color for that particular uh, it, it styles accordingly so this is what this particular plugin does and here and this is the code for my code uh, file widget and as you see it's right here and just to see, give you a quick overview of my routing. So I use this one here. And uh, so I have my router file right here, which is where I do the all the routings right here. And I maintain a recipe dot dart right here for the uh, for redirecting the flow. So you can take your time to uh, look at it here uh, about the navigation. If you have any question, please leave the comment uh, in the comment section. I will be happy to go in detail about the navigation as well. So for this video, that's pretty much it is. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.